If someday you should see Thomas the tank engine puffing happily along the line, he may be on his way to a village nestled deep in the heart of the island of Sodor. One November morning, Thomas whistled to all his friends. It's nearly Thanksgiving, and I'll bring you lots of letters and parcels. But then, an early snowstorm came. The island was covered with thick snow. The engines found work difficult. Some had to help clear snow from the track, and workmen hacked away at the frozen banks of ice. Thomas and Percy were collecting important mail for Thanksgiving. Driver says there's lots of mail for the village, said Thomas. I'll need an extra car for it all. Percy was feeling left out. It's not fair, you're not leaving any mail for me. But Percy's chance had come. There's been a change of plan, said Thomas's driver. Sir Topham Hatt needs us at the big station. Percy, you are to take Thomas's train to the village. Percy was delighted, but Thomas was sad. I won't be able to say happy Thanksgiving to all my friends. Don't worry, said Percy kindly. I'll do it for you. It's not the same, sighed Thomas. Percy was making good time on his way to the village when suddenly... What's that? called his driver. There ahead was a fog man by the line. He was holding a red light. The village is cut off by the snow, he shouted. We need snow plows, workmen, and a helicopter. Leave your cars in the sidings and go back quickly. Percy was soon steaming to Harold's airfield. Beep, beep, whistled Percy. Wake up, lazy wings. The mountain villagers need your help. They're stranded. Where's all, replied Harold. I like an emergency to keep me warm. And he buzzed away. Now, sighed Percy, what's next? Suddenly, there was Thomas with Terence the tractor and a works train. Come on, Percy, whistled Thomas. Follow me. The two engines battled their way through the snow. At last, they reached the village. Harold was already there, busily dropping food for Thanksgiving dinner to the people below. Terence quickly got to work. Lovely stuff, he said as he pushed the snow aside. Well done, Percy! Well done, Thomas! cheered the villagers. Percy, I've just remembered. Your mail train is still back at the siding, isn't it? Percy hurried back to fetch it. Just then, Toby arrived with Henrietta. We've brought lots of hot drinks and food for the villagers, he whistled. That night, all the engines had gone back to the sheds, except Toby. The villagers had made a plan to thank the engines. They loaded paint pots and parcels into Henrietta, and then they set off through the moonlit countryside. All the engines were fast asleep in the sheds as Toby ran silently into the yard. He had no idea what the villagers were going to do, but he knew it was going to be a big surprise. When the engines woke the next morning, they could not believe their eyes. The sheds had been repainted and decorated. The engines whistled in delight and everyone agreed that it was a really happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>